this episode, just the guys with the tools. Man, both John and I have experienced customers asking to use our tools to do repairs while we're doing other things. Um, you know, we decided a discussion was born. Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show, home improvement and maintenance tips from the pros. Thanks for listening to the Handyman Pros Radio Show, where our goal is to help save you time, money, and aggravation on your home maintenance and repair. This edition is entitled, Just the Guys with the Tools. And to help me explain, Johnny the Tool Master. Johnny the Tool Master. Are you there, Johnny the I Tool am. Master? I am. I'm here. I'm here. Have you ever had this happen, John? Uh, I have. Um, and let me explain. <laughs> let me explain. So, you know... Um, I was over at a, um, I was over at a job and a, um, you know, and I, I talked to you about this one time, I, you know, um, where somebody comes up and says, uh, you know, and, and basically before I get started on this story, what I, what I wanted to say, you know, see if anybody else out there has had this issue too. So give, give us some feedback on this, you know, as you, as you handyman out there, if you're, if you're doing this handyman or any then, contractor, yeah, I want to any know contractor, any contractor, any, but you know, usually I can see where it happens a lot more w- w- would happen a lot more with a handyman than it would with, uh, you know, maybe somebody else specific. I'll get it in a second, but I was over at a, um, at a, at a, at a, uh, customer, let's say, <clears throat> and, you know, they, they want to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working on one thing and this guy wants to use my tools so he can work on something else. I'm like, uh, yeah, not, uh, that ain't going to work. Okay. That's, that's not the way this works. Okay. You know, and that's, that's kind of the show title, you know, just the guys with the tools. I'm not the guy that rolled up on your driveway that, that has all the tools and specific tools that you don't have. And then you're going to like, okay. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll work on something with your, with your stuff, uh, while you work on something that I hired you for. <laughs> yeah. With your, with your tools. <laughs> yeah. Using, using your I, tools. Yeah. I'm just wondering if anybody else has run across people that brazen and I'm sure you guys have out there. Um, but it really was one of those things I'm like, I'm like, dude, uh, no, that's not going to happen. I said, you know, uh, in this case, he wanted my nail gun to, to, to shoot down some flooring. And I'm like, you know, if that nail comes flying out of there, I said, I'm not insured for that. You know, I'm, I'm just not going to take that risk. And I don't want you to either. You know, if that nail comes flying out of there at a different angle, um, hits you in the eye. Uh uh-uh. So, you know, that, I just thought that was really, that was really brazen. Um, and I've had this now happen twice. Yeah, I've I've had it happen a couple of times. I had a contract, another contractor actually come in and say, "Oh, let me just use your, let me just use your this and use your that, and I'm going to go knock these things out." And I'm like, mm, "No, that doesn't happen. I don't lend my tools out to other contractors, and I don't do it for the same reasons that you don't do it. Mostly, it's for liability. But the other side in these contractor situations, what happens is it ends up getting either it's one of two or three scenarios. It gets set down somewhere." And then it gets picked up by somebody else and it disappears or it just gets it gets destroyed because somebody doesn't know what they're doing. And I'm very protective of my tools. You know, it's it's just one of those things. It's how we make our living. And I just don't ever ask any. You know, I don't walk into the uh, commercial kitchen and say, hey, I just need to borrow your your pots and pans. I've got well, a little dish you know, I need to whip I- up, you know. I kind didn't. I didn't grow. You know, s- since I was a professional mechanic, I didn't. Br- I didn't grow up that. You know, through through that. I mean, right. we all we all would be like very. It wasn't. It, it, it was protective of your tools, and it was a uh, seldom spoken rule that you don't do that. Okay, if somebody had a specific wrench and they're really good friends, and you were like standing right there, okay. But otherwise, it was like you don't ask anybody else for any other tools. Um, appreciate the tool that he's got, whatever we know specific, whatever it was, and then go buy it yourself. Okay, for the job. Yeah, but or it was don't never, and just hire him to do it. But it right? was like, man, you, <laughs> you never, you never went out and, and borrowed somebody else's, uh, you no, know, any other other tools. And so when people do this to me, I'm like, you know, that's one of the things that 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 we we invest a lot of money in these things. Yep. Um, and it's not, it's not only the liability, but you know, you, you're right. It's, uh, you, 
you know, your their lost tools, they'll be like, oh, I, I gave it back to you. Now here comes the, you know, the the neighbor thing. You know, uh, I gave it back to you last week. No, you didn't. You know, right. I don't have it. You know, right. what happened? To it? No, no, I gave it. You know, here we go. So that ruin that'll ruin a relationship right away. So yep. don't even don't even start that stuff. Um, you know, I've had you know I've had stuff like that happen too. But, you know, like I said at the beginning, I think from a handyman perspective, and I'll tell you why, I, you know, I, I think this, because usually when we show up to do things, um, we do a variety of things, uh, tasks within a job site um, or, a, you know, a customer site, whatever you would like to call it, um, versus maybe an electrician has been called out or a plumber that is very specific to one task. OK, right. one thing that they're doing, one thing that they're doing, they might be, you know, you, it's like taking your uh, like I, I, I give you an example before the show was that it's like taking your car in, telling the telling the uh, the place, you know, hey, man, let, just let just let me use your lift and your tools and I'll take care of this job because I yeah, know how right. to do it. Right. You don't. Who does it's, that? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you don't you don't ask your plumber, or your electrician <laughs> yeah, I mean, for their tools. It? Now, Johnny, have you ever had this? I have had this experience once I had to finish the job for a plumber because he didn't have the tool. And I was like, I, I no, now I have done that. No, and that's a different. I think that's a different story. That's a great. That's a great catch right there. Yeah, but that's different. That's a little bit different, you know. If he's if he lost whatever he, in my I, case, the guy lost his tool probably at the last job site, probably because somebody borrowed it. Ooh, ouch! Um, did I just say that? But no, he had he either lost it or left it or whatever. And I happen to have one. I'm like, well, yeah. Let me let me just pop that out for you. You know, boom. Right. We got it done. So that's a different, that's almost, a, that's almost a different thing. You know, it's like a professional I've done that courtesy. before, you know, somebody might, might have something there, but you know, it, but to ask somebody else, I, I'll tell you what, I, I, along the lines that you, that, uh, that example you just gave, I had one of the largest companies in, in Atlanta come out, uh, HVAC companies come out and I had to break out my own multimeter and troubleshoot the problem. The guy didn't even have a multimeter. Yeah, that would be the last time I hired and, them. As an HVAC guy. Yeah. Uh, how many HVAC guys out there, uh, don't carry multimeters? Uh, if you guys, if you HVAC guys are out there, just, uh, let me know. I'm like, uh, <laughs> cause maybe it's us, right? Maybe yeah. it's us. And, and another thing too, on that point, Johnny, so we say we think plumbers and electricians don't get asked for their tools, but folks, if you're a plumber or an electrician and you have had that happen, let us know. Yeah, We'd let really us know. Like Absolutely. Know. I, that exactly. That's a good, that's another good catch, Larry, cause I, I you know, I'm really curious. Yeah, I'm I curious don't know too. if it's just me because I, this is what I this is the, you know when we were thinking about the, you know this this uh, uh, this episode was you know are you are, you know are people treating you with the, just the guy that rolls up with the toolbox? Yeah, we do not. We are not. I am not. <laughs> that, that. Not that guy. We're not that. That's yeah. not the gig. <laughs> Actually, for me, it's a great source of resource. Some guy says, you know, hey, I want to borrow you another guy. So I tell you what, put that on the rest of the to do list, and I'll pop that out for you. Yeah. Because, right. no, you're not using my tools is what it is. You know, I, I have a lot of pride in my tools, you know, and I am the guy that rolls up with a truck full of tools. as John Right. Tell you. We all do. Yeah. We all do. But are you treated that way? That's that's the Correct. that's the that's that's my that's my point. So if any of you other guys, uh, any of you folks out there kind of have had that experience and folks, if you're on the other side of this and you're the yeah, homeowner, the homeowner. It just you, you know, come on. It's uh, it's like anything else. It, this is how the man or the woman makes their living. Um, you know, you got to treat it as such. You yeah, this is respect here. This is the tools of their trade. Literally, right. it literally the tools it's, of their trade. Right. If you work in IT you, and somebody comes in to ask your computer, hey, let me have your password and your credentials so I can get in your computer. Right. I already know the answer to that. That would be right. no, right. no, and a few other bleep words right. behind it. Yeah. Right. Well, that's the same thing for us. Just because they happen to be hard tools, they're still our they're our tools and. I am very particular. I don't let anybody use my stuff, not unless I am fully aware that it could go away and never come back. Because unfortunately, most of my experience in this comes from other people doing work on on the job, and they don't get returned or they get destroyed. And so my experiences always are like, all right, I'll lend out a paint roller because you know at the end of the day it'll probably get destroyed, and I'm not that worried about a paint roller, but. For a for a true capital tool, you know, a, a nail gun or in my grinders or, or whatever, my saws. No, I'm not going to lend that stuff out. It just yeah, doesn't. Don't right. don't ask. Just don't ask. Right. Yeah. If you want a foam brush, maybe I got one. For yeah. You. Right. <laughs> I mean. Right. Exactly. 
Like well, I mean, you know, when I was when I was right. doing the mechanic thing, I mean, there were specific tools that nobody had, right? But they were very, very specific to the job, and we had a stock room. Yep. So you go to the stock room, and you have to check that tool out, yep. sign for it. Yep. Here's my, here's, you know, here's the card. You give me the tool. Then when I bring the tool back, you give me the card back. <laughs> yep. And that was done for a reason. Yeah, right, and that's the done for a reason. And, and that was with the, because the whole people company. People walk off with stuff. Yeah. Or they, or they leave it someplace. Right. You know? Right. But that was, you know, we're all one company, but it was still the same principle. You know, the, the, the same, same principle, principle. The same I, principle. I have to tell you. So one time I lend I lend my my dikes, right? My side cutting pliers yeah. to the guy. And uh we get done, and of course, you know, John, everything goes in my tool belt, and I have a spot. So I'm looking. I'm like, yeah. where are my side cut? Where's where's my dikes? Where's my side cut pliers? Right? And uh, I look at the guy. Go, what'd you do with my pliers? He's like, uh, I don't know. I said, where was the last place you had them? He's like, uh, I was up in the attic. Sure enough, I go up there. There's it's sitting in the insulation up in the attic on the ground. It fell out of his hand or fell out of his pocket or wherever he had it. But they're sitting up there in the insulation, you know. And I like. I was like, yeah, okay, you know, like, keep track. No, you're not using my shit again. Oops, you're not going to bring up the story where I was using your caulk gun and I left it on the fence, are you? Oh, I forgot about that one, John. <laughs> Even Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Johnny said Johnny's house hanging on the fence or whatever job that was we were on. That was at, that was at your friend's place. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. Even Johnny. Replacing that window. Yep. Yep. <laughs> See, it even happens here. And normally yeah. I'll lend Johnny stuff. But thanks, Johnny. Now I know not anymore. Yeah, but we were both on the job at the same time. So that was. <laughs> you still lost it. There... <laughs> that was a nice cock gun, too. I should have stayed. And it. there you go. Johnny just got a new one. I, I <laughs> bought a new one. I found it in the, I found it in the uh, clearance bin at Lowe's. I was like, I was just, you know, I do my shopping in the clearance bins every once in a while. And, man, this one's like, it's like the most industrial heavy-duty one I've ever seen. It was the 70 Mac Daddy, bucks. It's some of these oh. things are really nice. By the way, that's another, that's a good little tip right there we're going to leave you with, folks. Uh, anytime you go into the big box stores, just cruise by the 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 clearance uh, i say it all the time but it's amazing it's it, amazing. it is because they're they're always rotating uh you know inventory through there and sometimes you know um for people like us that might not be buying a bunch of stuff at the at one time you, you you know, like I need, I need 13 lights. I may just need one light. You might find that one light right there that, you know, discounted 60%. They I'm, just I'm want right. to get, they want to get rid of it. I'm right. Or in the a faucet. Of, I've a seen faucets. faucets. Oh my God. This, yeah. th this is, I'm telling you, if you want a faucet, some of them are really nice too. They're just going on style. They got to rotate inventory. I mean, if you guys are into, uh, you know, inventory management. I mean, you got to get rid of it, right? I right. Mean, you can only keep it because of carrying costs and stuff for so long. And you, but anyways, they're going to put it out there. It's cheaper to get rid of it uh, than to, than to hold it. And um, and and a lot of those things aren't even out of production. They've just been sitting on the shelves right. for too long. That's yeah. right. I just I just so I'm in the middle of doing this remodel on this on a rental home, folks. And I just got to tell you, I've just scored a couple of big scores. But one of them was I bought a curved shower rod, all aluminum curved shower rod, really nice, normal price, fifty six dollars. Right, walking down the clearance, I wasn't actually actually looking for it at the time. You know, it wasn't like a dedicated. I like, oh, I'm going to go in and look at this for a for a shower rod. But I walk in, I look at it, and I'm like, oh, curved shower rod. What do they want for that? Eleven bucks. Oh, cre big crescent, a cre crescent, yeah, well, those crescent ones. Yeah, just a half round, you know. Yeah, to, to yeah, yeah, the, right? yeah, yeah, those but are, yeah, those are nice, folks, if you, it, you know, it, forget that. It was, if it was normally, it was $56. I bought it for $11. I was like, Bingo. okay, yeah, I can, I can sit on this for a while. It wasn't going to go in for a month or more. It's still not in. Actually, I would have picked that up for one and, of my shows. And then washers and dryers. I just bought a. I, I just brought bought um, for the same property. I just bought a washer and dryer at the scratch and dent. They were right across the aisle from the from yep. the uh, scratch and dent aisle. Normally six hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred and thirty bucks for the washer, two hundred and seventy four dollars for and, the dryer. And this is perfect because you know. And now we're on, kind of on to another topic. Here. We're on another. That's topic. okay. I'm gonna roll with this for another second because we got a couple of minutes left, and that is. Folks, you, most washers and dryers are in a room that nobody ever sees. So Correct. what's the difference? If you well, can save 300 opinion. bucks, f whatever, for, for each, each appliance, bingo. 
and they're going to come with the same warranties and everything, and they may have it like a dent in one side where you put it up against the other one, and you never even see it. And that's exactly what this one has. It has a dent. The dryer has I, a dent in the side. I still haven't found out what's wrong with the washer. I can't find it, but it says damage on it, and I'm like, I don't, I don't see any damage. It works, so I don't care, you know. But <clears throat> whatever, whatever. You know, you know, a lot of times they they'll, they'll be, you know, what happened to me. You can go back, guys, a lot of episodes that we, I had a lot of frustration with the big boxes uh, when I bought a new refrigerator and stuff. And yep. they, they dropped it and all that yep. kind of stuff. Yep. But people, you know, sometimes, it, you know, just refuse it off the truck. Once it's refused. Yeah. Then it goes in the clearance. Then, then it'll then then it most likely it'll go back there. So. You know that that's a great that's a great tip on the uh, on the closing of the show here is to, to check out those uh, check out those clearance aisles because you know what you might even find some tools that you're missing. <laughs> there, well, you know it's, it's funny you say that. Like I, I we led into this because I found this caulk gun. I didn't really need. Well, I yeah. I actually do need a new caulk gun. It's a long story. But my caulk gun's getting long in the tooth. I use it. We use it a lot. I mean, not gonna lie, but this is a this is like the best caulk gun I've ever seen in my life. I don't even. It's so heavy. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. And I was just like, for seventeen dollars, you know. You know, normally they're yeah. twelve or fifteen for just a regular one. I think this thing was originally almost thirty bucks. Yeah. So it's yeah. like fifty percent off. And I'm like, well, you know, I, I yeah. kind of can't go wrong with this particular one. But I, it, I, when I was looking for these, like forever, when I'm doing these remodels or whatever, it's not that I'm necessarily seeking anything out, but I am finding like this shower curtain rod was it was perfect. It's what I would have bought. You know, and I was like, dang, it's 11 bucks. So like I can't, you know, I can't almost can't be without it. So just it's just a bit of a money saving tip. And, and it works. We're, you're not taking advantage of anybody or anything. They're just moving their inventory, you know, and it's like, wow, OK, great. You know, why not? Right. Consumables. Surprised. Consumables. Yeah. There's a lot of consumables down there. When I say consumables, I'm surprised I'm, at that, too. Yep. I mean, talking about nuts and bolts and screws and things that you use a I'm lot of. I'm surprised at that, too. I, yeah. I've seen that. I've yep. seen that. And I don't understand why that is, but it, but, but it happens all the time and I'm forever, you know, I always check just because, but like nails for nail guns, like our finishing nails that we use a lot of John, I found those down there and they're, and they're not, they're not like they're 50% off, but gosh, they're 25% off. Well, you know, to me, that's just money in my pocket because I know I'm going to use them. You know, it's not like I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use them eventually. So it's it's if I'm even close to needing them, I'll buy them at a 25 percent discount just because I'm going to use them. So same thing. You well, know, this was uh yeah anyway. this is this is quite a little uh, ricochet off the tangent yes. <laughs> off today. <laughs> so uh, okay, folks. Hope it's part you of what enjoyed. endears it's part <laughs> of what endears us to the customers, Johnny. You know, yeah. to our our listeners is what. Well, it does. our producer said we're running up against the clock, Larry, and we're going. <laughs> You know what that means. <laughs> you know what that means. It's time for some witty spaceship analogy. Oh. Found it in the clearance aisle. Found, yeah, John, so Johnny was down there. You know, Johnny's uh, he's out there at the mm -hmm. Home Depot the other day. He's looking in the clearance aisle. Next thing you know, this spaceship comes out. It shoots a laser, and I'm not going to tell you where it yeah. shot. It. He, he he doubled over in a slight little bit of pain. Then he took his uh, hammer that was on the clearance aisle and smashed the little bugger. So it's a, uh, it uh, yeah, those things can be tricky. It, it, so. it's, a it's a tough one. Folks, if you have any questions, comprehensions, or concerns, send us an email, questions at handymanprosradioshow.com. We will answer them online or on our show, as we have done so many times before. Um, have an idea for a show. If there's something you really want to know, please let us know. We really do like the feedback. We will answer almost any question that you can throw out there, if we can answer it. Um, and if we can't, we're going to find somebody that can, and then we'll have them on the show. Um, so we're always looking for good ideas. Um, what else we got? Hit uh, us on YouTube. YouTube. Hit us on Facebook. At Facebook, at Handyman Pros on Facebook. We've got a good group going there. We get lots of questions and answers. With that, we will see you next week on the Handyman Pros Radio Show.